Hi, it's Miki Ko and I am in Kendal at the Lakes International Comic and Arts Festival. It's quite a mouthful. This is, uh, yeah, as you can see, the weather is great. It's very English and uh, we're just gonna go and explore and see what we can find. The event takes place in Kensal, a small but cosy town known for its mint cakes and beautiful surrounding landscape. When I arrived, it seemed quiet at first, but that changed quickly and I started to spot more and more comic fans walking about town. Today's Friday, so there's actually not that much going on uh, yet, so most of the festival is really on Saturday. Um, today I will be drawing um, upstairs, <laughs> I'll be drawing with some colleagues on some Cintiqs and uh, it's going to be a four page comic that will be printed by tomorrow and then sold, so I'm really looking forward to that. Six artists, including myself, shared the little room above the cafe to work on the anthology together. The proceeds are later donated to OCD Action, Lee Cat's partner charity. Over the course of the weekend, I realised that the event is not just making use of some venues, but in fact, the entire town is somehow involved. Shop windows were decorated all over town with handmade artwork and there were plenty of activities for families and children. This year, the Moomins were a main focus and there was a Finnish village dedicated to Tove Janssen, their creator. Next to the theatre, playing a documentary on the history of the movements, there were the Finnish guests and the Archipelago Go exhibition by Jonathan Edwards and Feltmistress. Inspired by the world of Tove Janssen, these lovely creatures captured the mysterious spirit of the North. It took everything in me not to take one of them home with me. Right outside the exhibition, I finally spotted the mini sauna, which had been the talk of the town. Even though I did take a peek inside, it was a little crowded, so I just opted for some coffee next door at Joey's Cafe instead. Joey and Anya both kept me well entertained, and it quickly became one of my favourite spots to relax. Finns weren't the only guests present though. Hidden through an archway in the Shakespeare Centre, you'd find the magnificently decorated Canadian Lodge. Here, you could get your book signed and also learn about TCAF, the Toronto Comic Arts Festival. If you still haven't had enough, there's even more tables and artists in the clock tower. It's impressive to see how many artists aren't shy to show off their skills, even when surrounded by a curious crowd. Personally, I need a little peace and quiet to be able to draw. Speaking of, whenever I needed a rest, I ended up back at the Wacom Cafe. With hot drinks, snacks and tablets at my disposal, it was hard not to get creative with everybody else in this cosy atmosphere. Finally, we also got to see the result of our hard work from the day before. The comic looked great and I'm so proud of having been part of it. Good morning! Um, it is Sunday and I am exhausted. <laughs> but thankfully I've got my coffee and uh, I'm actually going to continue drawing in a bit. So behind me that's where the screen is going to be and the colour of what I started yesterday. So let's hope I'm not going to fall asleep while doing that. Life drawing is something I really enjoy because you never know what can happen. Often people watching are a bit shy, so I get to relax a bit while I'm coming up with new characters or ideas. Whenever I need a breather, I like to answer questions about art or the tools and techniques I use. This time, children were especially curious and showing them how I draw on a screen made me feel a little bit like a magician. So 
the Lakes Festival is already over and uh, I'm about to head home. I have to say it has been fantastic. People are so warm and welcoming and uh, there was so much to see. Um, yeah, I hope I can be back next year again and uh, I can definitely recommend it to you guys. So check it out if you can. Um, yeah, so that's it for me today and I'll see you again next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>